So can you use crochet cotton in weaving? Short answer is yes, but there are things that you should know before you plan that project. Hi and welcome, I'm Steph. I live in Brisbane, Australia, one of the most beautiful cities in the world and I have three rigid heddle looms and I am addicted to weaving. I want to share the crazy, wild, unpredictable, beautiful place I live and the crazy, wild, wonderful, beautiful things that I make with you. Most crochet cotton is mercerized. This means that it's treated to improve dye uptake, reduce shrinkage, and gives the yarn a luster or a sheen. And you can actually see it in crochet cotton. Some have that slight sheen or a shiny look. Mercerizing also means that the yarn and the finished product that you make will be less likely to absorb moisture. So when you plan that project, take the purpose of your fabric into account. So let's have a look at the yarn structure. Crochet cotton is usually a three or four ply, but some can be higher. It's spun very tightly, which means that the yarn is very strong. The plied threads tend to be thinner than the size you would find in an 8.2 or an 8.4 yarn. There are lots of different sizes of crochet cotton also. So use your WPI skills as a base to determine your set. So what can we make with crochet cotton? Because it's mercerized, it can make towels less absorbent. So I always use unmercerized cotton for towel. However, crochet cotton would be great for any project that doesn't need absorption. So some ideas might be placemats, table runners, uh, pillow covers for your couch, cushion covers for your bed, curtains, um, and any other decorative items that you can think of. The strength and the mercerization of this yarn also means that it's going to last a lot longer. So it can actually make projects a lot more attractive that way. If you're looking to use some crochet cotton in a project, my advice is to read the labels. This is one disadvantage to not buying specified weaving yarn is that you do have to be a little bit more aware of what you're buying. This one here is packaged and marketed to look like crochet cotton, but it's actually a microfiber acrylic. This is fine for a project as long as you are aware and take this into account. For example, using acrylic and a normal cotton together means that one might shrink more than the other. This can actually create some beautiful differential shrinkage projects, but probably not what you want if you are not looking for that in your project. So keep that um, knowledge under your belt. Also, the label may or may not state if the yarn is mercerized or not. So you can usually tell by looking at it and seeing if it has a slight sheen. Let's look at the price point. The price of crochet cotton makes it an attractive alternative to purchasing weaving yarn for certain projects and can make a project more cost effective. In my case, this cotton was gifted to me, which means that the set of placemats I made only cost me time. But now that I have used it, I can think of so many projects to use it in. I will now be keeping an eye on sales and seeing if I can pick up um, any bargains to just reduce the cost of a project and for it to be more effective. So how does it feel to weave with crochet cotton? My crochet cotton was mostly mercerized, which makes it a little slippery. 
The good news is that it doesn't stick at all and is really strong so that you can easily have a nice tight tension and a good shed. Whilst warping, as always, if you find a knot join, cut it, tie off and start again, that, uh, that warp thread, because they will come undone. I left them in for my placemats and I had so many broken warp threads as the little knots rubbed on the heddle and then came undone. As crochet cotton is mercerized, it's a little slippery and that means that the knots don't grab as tightly as they would otherwise. If you found this video useful or enjoyed it or found it inspiring, hit subscribe so I can bring you more videos like this in the future. If you also hit the like button, you will be helping other people find my channel and also be inspired just like you. And don't forget, it's free.